Hey guys, so today I wanted to film a back to school haul because for the past like seven years I've gone to a private school with a uniform so I was very like unprepared for what to wear on an everyday basis to school. Granted I'm in college so I don't have to go to school like all day and I only have classes on certain days but I'm still like walking around the city and want to look nicer and just wanted clothes that kind of like suit this lifestyle more as opposed to all my really casual clothes at home. Of course I have like, I brought a bunch of clothes here but I just needed a few more things for fall and as a birthday present my present was going back to school shopping so I was really excited about that and I got a ton of stuff for fall and I'm really excited. I'm going to start with Nordstrom and this is from the BP department and I got a ton of really cool jeans just from a bunch of different places because I love like, these kind of jeans for fall and even if like you think that you'd only wear these once because they're such a statement piece there's so many different ways to style these particular jeans and you can make them look different in every single outfit so it's not going to be like oh she wears those blue tie-dye jeans all the time like you can totally style them differently for different occasions dress them up dress them down so I love funky jeans so I got these ones from BP Nordstrom I've wanted ones like these for so long and I saw them on my way out and I stopped and I grabbed them because they were good price and everything too they were $64 and that's really great for jeans because finding jeans under $100 that are really nice quality is awesome then I got florals like huge still for fall especially on pants but what I've been seeing a ton is floral blazers and my mom actually got one the other day and I was iffy about it but then I saw this one and it's really thin and light so it's definitely not really gonna make you hot or sweaty or anything and it's just this floral blazer from BP and I could definitely wear this over a dress or even with pants black white colored anything I think I'm gonna do a few outfit of the days with this because it's something that you wouldn't normally pick up it's like oh a grandma blazer but I think it's really cute and could be really fashion forward and then I also went to the shoe department and if you see my blog post I'm like obsessed with ankle booties and so I wanted a pair of black ankle booties I also got a pair of brown ones from Nordstrom but I had to get them shipped to me so I don't actually physically have them yet but I am obsessed with ankle booties especially right now it's still super hot out so I have to wear shorts but they still look so cute with shorts and they don't make your feet as hot as like combat boots then I went to Urban Outfitters and just got a few tops for like going out at night because I was just so confused because I'm usually going out to like my friends houses at night and just wearing like sweats and like stuff like this and so I needed like nicer tops to like look more mature and stuff and just some like casual like but fun going out tops so this one I probably would have worn in high school too but it's just like a galaxy tank top that I could easily put a blazer over and then the back is like kind of mesh and then everything I basically bought I like was like oh I could wear a blazer with this so I have a feeling I'm going to be wearing a lot of blazers then this is randomly in the pile these are just from J. Crew. Um, I just got some nicer shorts to wear um, during the day because I don't want to wear like booty shorts around the city that's dangerous. Then I got, this was all mostly my, these three things where like my mom picked them out basically. And they're just these like casual tops from Urban Outfitters. But what they had on the mannequin was this blazer over them. And it's just this cream um, kind of comfy blazer. And then you put like this like kind of like button up half zip thing over it so I got this cream blazer too and then a pale pink one and a kind of like bluish one with a pocket so they could either be super casual or you could totally put a blazer skinnies heels with them and be super cute at the same time then I got two inappropriate shirts so if you're under 18 close your eyes I will cover it up it says this is actually a men's shirt and it was on sale and it says New York swear word city it's just like a tank top I'll just show you the top so it looks like that and it's a men's tank top. I got an extra small because it was on sale because I think this would also look really cute with like a black blazer over it because it's like a t-shirt but with a blazer over it kind of makes it look more fashion forward and edgy and I don't know that's kind of my style for the fall I've realized. And then I also got this shirt and the bottom says something inappropriate so I'm not showing you but me and my brother are obsessed with cat heads and this is actually a band name on the bottom so I don't know I thought that would also look cute like under a blazer or even just to throw on during the day. And then, since I love blazers, I got um, a new black blazer because my other one was very um, men's suit style, so it wasn't really cropped or like something that you could wear with every outfit. It was more of like a nice suit, so I wanted to get more of like a casual black blazer that was more comfy, I guess. And then I got two pairs of pants, and this one, these are just denim that look like this and then these are actually leggings and I knew I would wear them more if they were leggings instead of jeans because floral jeans are really in but I didn't want to spend money on floral jeans because I didn't think I'd wear them that often so I got leggings instead 
and I really liked the colors on these ones. I think this would look so cute with like black combat boots and just like a cropped, um, not a crop top, like a off the shoulder, like plain shirt or something like that. So I'll definitely be doing fall fashion videos with all this stuff. It's just hard filming videos here, but I keep doing outfit of the day posts on my blog. So that'll be linked in the bottom bar. And then I've also been eyeing this for quite some time. So I finally caved in went with the trend of the spiked collars. So this is also from Urban Outfitters and I really want to pair this with um, like a leather skirt or shorts. I think that'd be super cute. Then the last thing I got from Urban was just, I needed um, kind of like a school bag and just something that I could throw on with like a longer strap. So it has the long strap and then it's black and it has gold detailing and I really love just like the saggy look of it, the hobo-ish look, but it's still super cute and nice. And I've been using it um, like all ever since I started classes. Then from Cusp, I don't know if you guys know, are familiar with Cusp, but it's basically um, a boutique by Neiman Marcus, and so everything in there is like really pricey, so I kind of hate going in there because it's like you can never really get anything unless like, I don't know, but this was only $35, which is really low for in there, and it's just this really long little skull, and so it looks so cute with like the outfit I had on, so my mommy bought it for me because I was really homesick, and she knows I like skulls. So then I went to Topshop, and I wanted to get more like going out, mature, because like now that I'm down here and going to all these like blogging events and fashions night out and everything like that, I wanted to get more dressier outfits to go out in and just to look, I don't know, more like fashionable and nicer. So I got these velvet shorts. Um, they're kind of stretchy and they have a black button. They're just high-waisted velvet shorts. I think it would look so cute with like that spiked shirt tucked into it. Then I got this cropped, I've always wanted a pale pink blazer. So my mom finally let me get one and it's really cute because it's really long in the front so the sides go down but as you can see in the back it's really cropped so like if you were to wear this with shorts it wouldn't cover up your butt and look like you weren't wearing any pants it'd be really cropped in the back so you could still see the shorts and it's just pale pink and that's my favorite color and then i got um from top shop this navy ruffled dress and this would be super cute if you're still in um high school and want to be more fashion forward at homecoming it's the huge thing right now is kind of like poofy dresses and peplums and I almost was like there's nothing else to get besides a peplum thing here so this is more as you can see it has like ruffled detailing on it and it goes out and it's navy and I totally pair this with like a spiked belt, a big necklace, a blazer, cute tights, anything. Then I got this peplum white top to pair with either um, a fitted skirt or skinnies and it has a zipper in the back. And as you can tell, I get like all the same color of everything, but whatever. We're over it. Then I got this dress also because I love this color. It reminds me of Harry Potter. And it's the same kind of style where it goes out and then it's tighter at the top, high neck. And it's just like this like burgundy dark red color would be also super cute with a blazer over it. Or even what I'm seeing now is putting a sweater over it. So it almost looks like a skirt and you just put a sweater over it or like a denim button up over it. I just have all these things going in my head for fall right now my hair is a mess anyway then I got this like just really nice going out shirt it's this really great material it's kind of like thicker um, and nicer looking as opposed to just a white t-shirt and it has a lining right there and then it's just straight all the way down a little bit of a high low and you can do so many things with this as well and it's just great for going out it's very mature very classic and will never get old and then lastly, I don't even know what this is. Oh, this is the dress I'm wearing for Fashions Night Out. It is by the brand Velvet. I got it from Cusp, and it looks like leather in the front, and it's short-sleeved, which is my favorite kind of dress, and then in the back, it's cotton. So you guys will see how I style this tomorrow on Fashions Night Out, and I'll put a video up of that after. And yeah, so that's pretty much all my back to school stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I kind of talked a lot, but I'll definitely be doing outfit of the die, outfit of the dies, outfit of the days on my blog. So make sure you go check that out. I already have a couple up, just street style posts, and then I'll probably do a lookbook soon. Just everything with class is really hectic. So I enjoyed making this video in my dorm for you guys, even though I feel really awkward right now. But I'll talk to you guys later.